before America decided to join the war, they were isolated, but they were getting so irritated and mad at the Germans, trying to attack their ships themselves and interfering with their trades, that on April 2, 1997, they decided to join the war against the Germans, and of course they needed more soldiers to win the war, which is how the Selective Service Act came to be. The 28th President, Woodrow Wilson, only wanted people who volunteered for the army, but he realized that it wasn't going to work, so he started gathering men. General John J. Pearson, also known as Blackjack, was made commander of the American Expeditionary Force by Woodrow Wilson. He was in many other battles such as the Spanish-Philippine-American War and led the Nuzon Aragon, which was successful. The Selective Service Act was basically an act that all men ages from 20 to 30 had to register for the army. The War Department requested that it had to change to all men ages 18 through 45. The Selective Service Act was made so that the federal government could raise a national army for the entry of America into World War I. At first they only had 98,000 men. At the end, they had 4 million. These people became the American Expeditionary Force, other known as AEF. They were the people that got sent to Europe during World War I. They fought alongside France and Britain to defeat the Germans. The American Expeditionary Force fought in trenches. They would have machine guns take place of about 15 to 20 soldiers that would usually use a one barrel gun. They would take cover and hide or place ammo or weapons in different areas of the landscape and they would use the land to their advantage. The difference between the U.S. Army and the, Amer and the American Expeditionary Force isn't that different. The U.S. Army only had 98,000 men and somewhere between 150,000 men had volunteered because of the Selective Service Act. The American Expeditionary Force was split into two different groups one set overseas and one set to the western front in France. 